only that. But let us exult while in tribulations, since we know the tribulations that you see during. Chapter 4 That being so, what shall we say about Abraham, our forefather according to the flesh? Chapter 5 Therefore, now that we have been declared righteous as a result of faith, let us enjoy peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have gained our approach by faith into this undeserved kindness in which we now stand. And let us exult based on hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but let us exult while in tribulations, since we know the tribulations that you see during Endurance in turn, an approved condition, the approved condition in turn, hope. And the hope that does not lead to disappointment, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit which was given us. For indeed, Christ, while we were yet weak, died for ungodly men at the appointed time. For hardly will anyone die for a righteous man. Indeed, for the good man, perhaps someone even dares to die. But God recommends his own love to us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. It's much more, therefore, since we have been declared righteous now by his blood, shall we be saved through him from wrath. For if when we were enemies, we became reconciled to God through the death of His Son, much more, now that we have become reconciled, we shall be saved by His life. And not only that, but we are also exulting in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. That is why, just as through one man, sin entered into the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men, because they had all sinned. For until the law, sin was in the world. But sin is not charged against anyone when there is no law. Nevertheless, death ruled as king from Adam down to Moses, even over those who had not sinned after the likeness of the transgression by Adam, who bears a resemblance to him that was to come. But it is not with the gift as it was with the trespass. For if by one man's trespass many died, the undeserved kindness of God and his free gift with the undeserved kindness by the one man Jesus Christ abounded much more to many. Also, it is not with the free gift as it was with the way things work through the one man that sinned. For the judgment resulted from one trespass in condemnation, but the gift resulted from many trespasses in a declaration of righteousness. For if by the trespass of the one man, death ruled as came through that one, much more will those who receive the abundance of the undeserved kindness and of the free gift of righteousness rule as kings in life through the one person, Jesus Christ. So then, as through one trespass, the result to men of all sorts was condemnation, likewise also through one act of justification, the result to men of all sorts is a declaring of them righteous for life. For just as through the disobedience of the one man, many were constituted sinners, likewise also through the obedience of the one person, many will be constituted righteous. Now the law came in beside, in order that trespassing might abound. But where sin abounded, undeserved kindness abounded still more. To what end? That just as sin ruled as king with death, Likewise, also undeserved kindness might rule as king through righteousness, with everlasting life in view, through Jesus Christ our Lord. What end?
that just as sin ruled as king with death, likewise also undeserved kindness might rule as king through righteousness, with everlasting life in view, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hunger, 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 hunger. Chapter 6 Consequently, what shall we say? Shall we continue in sin that undeserved kindness may abound? Never may that happen. Seeing that we died with reference to sin, how shall we keep on living any longer in it? Or do you not know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore we were buried with him through our baptism into his death, in order that just as Christ was raised up from the dead through the glory of the Father, we also should likewise walk in a newness of life. How should we, how should we keep on living any longer with reference to sin? How should we keep on living any longer in it? Or do you not know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore we were buried with him through our baptism into his death, in order that just as Christ was raised up from the dead through the glory of the Father, we also should likewise walk in a newness of life. For if we have become united with him in the likeness of his death, we shall certainly also be united with him in the likeness of his resurrection. Because we know that our old personality was impaled with him, that our sinful body might be made inactive, that we should no longer go on being slaves to sin. For he who has died has been acquitted from his sin. Moreover, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. For we know that Christ, now that he has been raised up from the dead, dies no more. Death is master over him no more. For the death that he died, he died with reference to sin once for all time. But the life that he lives, he lives with reference to God. Likewise also you. Moreover, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. For we know that Christ, now that he has been raised up from the dead, dies no more. Death is master over him no more. Chapter 6 Your members to God as weapons of righteousness. For sin must not be master over you, seeing that you are not under law, but under undeserved kindness. What follows? Shall we commit a sin because we are not under law, but under undeserved kindness? Never may that happen. Do you not know that if you keep presenting yourselves to anyone as slaves to obey him, you are slaves of him because you obey him? either of sin, with death in view, or of obedience, with righteousness in view. But thanks to God that you were the slaves of sin, but you became obedient from the heart to that form of teaching to which you were handed over. Yes, since you were set free from sin, you became slaves to righteousness. I am speaking in human terms because of the weakness of your flesh. For even as you presented your members as slaves to uncleanness and lawlessness, with lawlessness in view, so now present your members as slaves to righteousness, with holiness in view. Righteousness, righteous leaves to righteousness, 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 to righteousness. For 
when you were slaves of sin, you were free as to righteousness. What then was the fruit that you used to have at that time? Things of which you are now ashamed. For the end of those things is death. However, now, because you were set free from sin, but became slaves to God, you are having your fruit in the way of holiness, and the end, everlasting life. For the wages sin pays is death, but the gift God gives is everlasting life by Christ Jesus our Lord. You are having your fruit in the way of holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages sin pays is death, but the gift God gives is everlasting life by Christ Jesus our Lord.